Hey everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we're getting into another operator guide. We are really closely closing out all of the operators and then we're probably going to go back and do some older ones that have obviously I made like nine months ago and they're probably incredibly out of date at this point. But with that said, um, let's just get Oryx out of the way today. If you do find this video helpful or useful, make sure to leave a like. If you don't find it useful, um, let me know down below before you leave because I could really use the... um the improvements and feedback to make better videos and um, also smash the sub button if you're new and you want to check out more videos from me with the notification bell on come check out my twitch streams as well links in the description down below stream there essentially every day just fucking around having fun and um excuse me and with that said i don't really have anything else to say i think it's about time we got into the video so as always we're going to start off with the weapon review move on to the gadget utilization and finish off with the operator strategies so let's dive straight into the weapon review so starting off, we're going to go over his primary weapons, Legion has, uh, not Legion, sorry, I saw his weapon. Oryx has access to the T5 SMG. He didn't always have access to this. In a recent change, they flipped Malusi and um, Oryx's weapon. He had the MP5 originally, but um, that's just a little history on Oryx. T5 SMG, 28 damage on down 100 rounds per minute. This thing has like no recoil, by the way. It is an incredible, powerful gun, in my opinion. I like it a lot. It has the 1.5 scope, which is great to pair up with the T5 SMG. It is my personal favorite scope for the gun. And all in all, it's just a great all-around weapon. If you didn't know, the T5 was originated on Legion, that's why I made that mistake before. And um, it, since since it's been introduced, it really has just been a really powerful, strong presence on the defensive side. 28 damage for an SMG is probably on the higher side. 900 rounds per minute fire rate is also on the higher side. So all in all, it kind of evens out into a really great overall weapon. And in my opinion, it definitely is probably one of the easiest weapons to use on the defensive side, I'm not going to lie. Like, his recoil is very low, like, very low. I don't really know how to describe it perfectly, but its recoil is very low. I said that, like, three times, but just to reinforce the point. And, um, all in all, uh, it's just a really good weapon to use. 30 bullets in this magazine as well, which is a standard size, which you can work with, depending on how much of a potato you are. The it, Its recoil kind of helps you out no matter what, which is a great thing to have also. But just, just... I don't really know how else to explain it, but it is just an incredibly powerful weapon. I really enjoy using it personally, and um, I hope you guys do as well. But personally, I prefer it on Legion, but we won't go into that. The secondary weapon he has access to is the Spaz-12. The Spaz-12 is a lightweight, customizable 12-gorge semi-automatic shotgun. That is the Siege description. 35 damage a shot, and you can shoot this thing as fast as you want with 7 bullets in the magazine. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, I don't know how damage works on shotgun, but even though it says 35 damage, you can shoot someone point-blank, and it will kill them that's the whole point of a shotgun i'm pretty sure it's at a specific range that these damage counts are uh, statistically tracked i think so i really don't know but all in all this is a powerful shotgun this was originated on valkyrie it was introduced with her when she came out back in dust line i think was her her um operation that she came out i might be wrong but spaz 12 it is just it's just a good shotgun its consistency and speed is a great thing to have from a shotgun because it gives you more room to shoot multiple shots before it, an enemy can react with say an smg or an ar which is a great thing to which is a great thing to have but personally i would 100 percent recommend you bring the t5 the t5 is a great gadget you really got to use i just would recommend using this incredibly higher than the Spaz-12 just because it's such a great all-in-all -all weapon. But the Spaz-12 definitely does have its benefits. And if you prefer that close-range gunfights, I'd say bring that. But any other situation, and especially competitive, the T5 is the way to go. In terms of his secondaries, he has access to the Bailiff 410 as one of his first, which is a... It's a... I don't even... What's his description? A bore shotgun in a revolver package. Well, there you go. So 30 damage. I'm pretty sure you can shoot this as fast as you want. Five bullets in the magazine. Obviously reloads and functions like a revolver. But it kind of... It's, it's like a shotgun, but it's still... Its damage isn't as high as a shotgun, I don't think. I really have no idea whether this thing will one-tap you at close range. I do not believe it will. It does good damage to it does good damage to walls, though, so it can be utilized for rotations. But I'm pretty sure it got nerfed down from what it originally did. And um, if you want rotations, I feel like you should just run through the wall, because that's something Oryx can do, And instead of using this secondary pistol. And then his alternate secondary pistol is the USP-40. I believe this is the Jackal and Mira pistol, but they don't, no one uses it because they use the ITA. 48 damage a shot on trigger finger fire rate. This is what I would personally use, because as I said, you don't really need the bailiff for rotations like you would use it on Maestro or Alibi, because you can just run through the walls. So there's really just no problem with using the USP, in my opinion. It's a good it's a good higher damage pistol that you can use for backup with 48 damage 12 bullets in the magazine so ordinary pistol size and i just think it's a great weapon and um i this is what i would personally bring and that 
concludes the um, the weapon review. He also has access to a proximity alarm and a barbed wire. Um, I think the proximity alarm could work if you were playing a roaming type with Oryx, but all in all, I think the barbed wire probably will come in handy a little bit more. Just for It really just depends where you go. Proximity probably helps with a roam, which is something you can do with Oryx and... Um, Excuse me, barbed wire probably helps better with an anchor. But um, I think with Oris, you'd probably want to roam, so maybe bring the proximities. I don't know. It's really up to you. And now let's get into the gadget utilization. So the specific name of the uh, the gadget is the Remark Dash. This is a fast dash that allows for faster roaming breaches, break, um, breakable walls, and pushes back opponents. So to sum, uh, to sum up that whole description they just give... It um it allows it, it's a small dash I believe it lasts like two seconds it just incre increasingly increases your speed while you progress through a certain area so if you're just roaming you want to get uh, if you want to if you want to dash past something a lot quicker than you would generally running you'd use this dash it's not it, he has infinite access to them I believe pretty sure there's a small cooldown after you use it but that's about it. And then, and then it can also be utilized for a lot of other things. As I know, as I mentioned before, you can run through walls with this. So you are able to run through a wall. It will completely break the wall. I'm pretty sure it takes five health off your character every time you run through a wall. It does not take health off you when you run through a barricade, though. But you can run through them as well. And that is the two main things I feel like you probably see an Oryx doing. But it, as there's a lot of things that people also forget, you can um you can run. Uh, what's the other thing you can do? You can push people over. Sorry, this just didn't phase me at all. You can so if you run into a specific operator, you can push them over, which puts them in a disoriented effect, which gives you time to kill them. This is used a lot by people who like to have fun with the character. You're not going to sneak up behind people and charge them generally in a ranked game, but if you do, then my respect to you. But the main the main way this charge does come in handy is against a shield. If you charge a Montang that is fully extended, he still gets the same knockback effect that any other operator would get. So that means mo it is a great way to counter a Montang who is being a nuisance on the site. If you have a clear if you have a clear area like you know the Montangs alone, you have a direct way to just charge him over and kill him without um, the shield being a problem and just completely He's, he's basically a direct counter to shield. So you can do this with Blitz. You can do this with Montaigne. Blitz probably has a little bit more accessibility to protect against you because he um, if he's he doesn't go fully extended. So if you charge him, you can fl he can flash you and then hit you before you even see him. So that Blitz probably is a little bit hard to get, but primary thing, this guy goes incredibly perfect against a Montaigne. And I think that's about all of the abilities, that, uh, all of the effectiveness you can use that I can give and pass down with the Rima Dash. The best way I'd, I'd recommend utilizing it would be for these dashes, as I was highlighting before, to get you out of sticky situations. So if you need to push out of anywhere, use the dash. And also, if you need to get through a rotation, a wall, etc., the, the, that is where the that is where the dash can come handy. And now that I think about it, I I was thinking about this before, but now that I think about it, the bailiff can come in handy for this situation, which is destroying hatches because Oryx also has the ability that isn't highlighted here to jump up hatches. So if you didn't know this already, if you are below a hatch with Oryx, you can jump up it. This is the only operator that can do this, I believe, unless you are counting Amaru, who can repel up them. But he can he can literally go, it has to be um, destroyed, obviously, which is where the bailiff can come in handy, as I just pointed out. So maybe the bailiff is a little bit more useful than I will. Uh, yeah, I'd say the bailiff, you probably should bring it due to this specific ability. So go back on what I said before. Hopefully you're still watching at this point. But use the bailiff to open this hatch, and then you can jump up it. And then when you jump up at your character, like he, he puts his arms on the side of the hatch and he like does a little peek. He's going to have a look around and you are able to sit in that peak position. You are incredibly exposed when you do it though and you make quite a significant noise when you jump up the hatch. And then you can either choose to drop back down the hatch or pull yourself up the hatch. That's like a little additional ability Oryx has access to along with the Rima Dash. So all in all, he has great accessibility in my opinion. And his gadget can be... His gadget's not really too effective in terms of team play. But it's a great individual gadget and it... It's a great counter to Montang. That's that's probably the primary reason. If you see a Montang main, uh, that's new, that's usually when I pull out Oryx. I'm going to be completely honest. But all in all, he still is a great operator. And having access to the T5, which is one of the best weapons in the game, in my opinion, it really does conclude uh, a pretty underrated operator, in my opinion. And then finally, we're going to go over the operator strategies. Now, he is a 2 speed 2 armor. As a defender, that means generally you can either anchor or roam with him. But due to his ability, I feel like you should probably be roaming with Oryx. His ability, his ability gives him access to vault hatches, as we just went over. It gives him access to dash out of the way of line of sight angles. It gives you speed that no other operator can get. And just all in all, that just builds up to a perfect roaming operator, in my opinion. And I think that's definitely the way you should play Oryx, obviously. There are, there are points that you need 
need to probably come along and help out assistance with the site, such as the shield, as I was pointing out before. Maybe just they just need assistance on the site, which is just general stuff with the Roma. But I think this every ability that he has access to just perfectly builds a Roma's ability. And he also has all of these ic ic um, individual abilities that he has access to on his own that he can pull out and still be effectively useful with as a Roma, such as the hatch the hatch jump, no one else can do that. Running through walls for rotations and escaping situations, no one else can do that. I think he definitely has one of the highest and strongest roaming potentials there is. It's just people kind of undermine him because it, his gadget just doesn't really bring any effectivity to the team. But all in all, he's still a great operator, and I think he definitely is a little bit underrated, as I said before. But with that said, that is going to cap off this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, make sure to let me know down below. Also, make sure to slam that like button and drop a sub notification bell. I'd really appreciate it if you did that. Um, Excuse me, I, I keep swallowing. I think it's because I ate before, but... um. If you found this video useful, let me know. If it was completely useless, do let me know what you, sh you think I should kind of incorporate into these videos to make them a little bit more useful. Maybe like game situations, stuff like that. I don't know. But if you do have anything for me, I'd really appreciate it if you could let me know. But with that said, I think that's enough from me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, also, make sure to keep check out my Twitch streams. Links in the description down below. I stream there all the time as well. Love to see you guys there. But I'm done for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. and Catch you in the next one. Peace. Untried.